Hello everyone. Today I will be telling you guys a story about a guy who can transform into anything he wants. Enjoy the story. The boy's name is Little Timmy and he was 13 years old. All of the kids at school called him Little Timmy because he was only 3 feet tall. Timmy hated being called that and he wished he was taller. But then one day, when he was walking home from school, he bumped into an old lady by mistake. The old lady said to Timmy, Whoops, I didn't see you there little buddy. This made Timmy mad and he told her not to call him little buddy. The lady apologized and said that she was once 7 years old too. This pushed Timmy over the edge. He pushed the old lady so hard that she fell down on her back. Timmy expected her to be screaming in agony but to his surprise, she just got right back up with a big smile on her face. Timmy asked the lady if they hurt and she said it didn't hurt one bit. Then, she took off her shirt. Timmy was about to avert his eyes because he didn't want to see an old lady naked, but all he saw was a coat of armor embedded beneath her skin. Timmy asked the lady how she got the armor beneath her skin and she said she found a book on the ground one day filled with spells. She was able to read a single spell until someone snatched the book out of her hand. She told Timmy that it was a grumpy old man. The old man told her to keep her filthy paws off his stuff. The old lady told Timmy that she apologized for touching his book without his permission and the man just walked away with his book. But the old lady had the spell memorized. The lady then told Timmy that above the spell it said in the book, there were words that said, reading this spell will allow the reader of the spell to transform into any shape the reader wants to just by thinking about the shape and snapping your fingers. Timmy asked for the spell and the lady asked Timmy why he wanted to know it. Timmy told the lady that he wanted to know the spell so he could shape shift to be taller. The lady said, fair enough, it must suck being a midget. Timmy grumbled but didn't say anything because he didn't want to get on the lady's bad side so she would give him the spell. The lady told Timmy the spell. It was, swiggerty swiggerty I'm coming for your bootity. Timmy asked the lady if she was serious and she said yes. Timmy said fine and he said those words. The lady then asked if Timmy was talking to her and Timmy said, you, no, I'm just saying the spell. The lady seemed a little disappointed but she said okay. They wished each other well and parted ways. That night at his house, Timmy thought about being three feet taller. Then he snapped his fingers, but nothing happened. Disappointed, he went to bed after that. The next day, when Timmy woke up, he noticed something different about himself. His legs were hanging off his bed, and he had a ton of hair in between his legs. He got out of bed and was shocked when he slammed his head on the ceiling. He then fell unconscious. When he woke up, he was in the hospital. All of the doctors and nurses were super excited when he woke up. They told Timmy that they had some phenomenal news to tell him. They ran blood tests on him, in addition to collecting urine and feces samples from him. They came to the conclusion that Timmy now has the ability to shape shift into anything he wants. This news had Timmy overjoyed. He went into school late that day, in the form of a full grown man. The problem with that was that as he entered his middle school building, he was immediately attacked by the school's security team. They tackled him to the ground and put him in restraints. Then, one of the security guards pulled out a gun, held it up to Timmy's head and said, Tell me who you are you pedophile before I put a bullet in your brain. Timmy told the guy to chill out, then he thought about the Hulk and snapped his fingers. Timmy transformed into the Hulk and was able to break out of the restraints. The security team all fired their guns at Timmy the Hulk man but missed. When one of the security guards almost accidentally hit a kid, they all decided to stop shooting. Especially since they were in a middle school. Timmy the Hulk went into a bathroom and closed the door. He made sure nobody saw him go in and he decided to shape shift into his old self, but 5 feet tall instead of 3 feet tall. Luckily this time, he was still in the form of a kid and not a man. He came out of the bathroom stall and went to his class. At class, everybody hooed and nodded to me. The guys thought he had a growth spurt and they were jealous. The girls crowded themselves around Timmy and asked Timmy, is your doing as tall as you? Timmy winked at the girls and said yes. Later that night, Timmy brought all of the girls to his house for a sleepover. He had eight girls in his room that night, and thanks to his shape-shifting power, he was able to produce eight cocks, one for each girl. They all had fun that night and Timmy became the most popular guy in the school. He decided to make his own YouTube channel to show off his talent. 
On his channel, he shifted into cars, trucks, houses, money, and two million other things. As Timmy's superpower became more widely known by many people, Timmy was hunted. He also got the nickname as Big Timmy. Big Timmy discovered how to make himself invincible so nobody could hurt him. And sometimes while he was sleeping, he was captured but he just turned himself into the Hulk in that situation and scared the bad guys off. One day, the bad guys captured Timmy's mom. Luckily, Timmy had told his mom the secret phrase and how to shapeshift so she could do it too. Timmy also told the rest of his family the secret. But Timmy shouldn't have told his 9-year-old brother, because the brother told his friends at school and the word spread like wildfire. Three weeks later, everybody on the planet, even babies could shapeshift. Timmy was sad because his superpower was no longer unique to him. But then one day, he found a book of spells. One of them was how to retract everyone's power except for the reader. Timmy read the spell and it worked. Everything was back to the way it was. But Timmy decided to stop shifting because he didn't want to cause more trouble. So from that day on, he stayed five feet tall. Unfortunately, this also meant he wouldn't change naturally so he didn't age. He had to manually age himself each year. But then, 24 years later, he came to the realization that he could just have his mom read to him the spell that takes away everyone's power except for the reader. She did just that and Timmy was completely back to normal, at a nice height of 6 feet and 6 inches tall. The End